Hi, everybody. I am Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com. And uh, in case you guys are interested, we have a sale on Craze Face Paint, 30% off. So on facepaint.com. And I am here today with um, Jacqueline Howe. And we're going to be going over fast Halloween designs. And Jacqueline is, um, as you can see behind her, the queen of glitter. Um, she is uh, Mrs. Glitter and does all these amazing designs. And we've had her a couple of months ago, and, and we just love having her. So Jacqueline, take it away. Thank you so much for having me back, Blake. And yes, we're coming to you from the Vivid Glitter studio. And um, I just first, before we get started, I want to tell you guys that um, I feel like we're seeing some signs of recovery in our industry. Um, this is obviously the fast Halloween designs. And you guys are probably like, what Halloween events are you talking about? Well, I mean, the large events are definitely not happening right now. I'm not gonna lie, okay? But I'm starting to get a lot of calls for small parties and small family gatherings. So I'm noticing that, you know, little, little gatherings, people are really, really starving for gatherings and they're gonna be small. Um, but still, we're starting to get them. So I'm encouraged. I've got a few in October um, starting. So you will be getting some. I, you know, hope. Yes, keep your fingers crossed. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead. Oh, before also, I wanted to make a little bit of an announcement. Um, last time when Marcela Bustamante was doing a uh, airbrush, uh, she was doing an airbrush webinar with you guys. She, um, she was using some of my stencils that I gave her because um, uh, we had worked together for this event and I'm sure you guys remember seeing this and a few of you guys contacted me and I just couldn't get, get it together for you guys, but, um, but just go ahead and reach out to me directly. I do have the stencils. Um, and so as I was saying about the events, I'm talking about stencils for fast designs. Um, Stencils are a really good idea for fast Halloween designs. Um, I use those all the time. I won't be using them so much for this um, webinar here, but maybe one I will use um, a stencil for. Um, okay, so we're gonna get started. And can you guys see everything good here? Blake, I think- Yeah, everything's great. Oh, there you go. You were like- Oh, so uh, the question that came in um, from Olga, what, what, where should they contact? They should contact you directly for stencils, yeah, right? Yeah, contact me directly on through Facebook and, um, and I'll, um, and I'll hook you up with those stencils. And it's vividfacepainting.com, right? Um, my website is vividglitter.com. Okay, vividglitter.com. Okay, but great. Those Thanks. are not up on my website, actually. That's why I'm saying come directly because we haven't designed a really pretty, um, you know, packaging for it yet. And so we still, we're still polishing it up a little bit, but they are available. Just contact me directly. Okay, so the first design, let me know if there's any other questions about anything. Um, I'm actually gonna create a little uh, nice howling wolf design, okay? Ah. For that, I'm going to use, this is called TARDIS, okay? And it's one of my, uh, dome strokes. I absolutely love dome strokes. Those are like the greatest invention ever. Okay, so um, I'm using a flat brush here. And um, this design can be done super fast. Um, it can be done either on the cheek area or right here in the middle of the forehead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do it on the middle of the forehead for you guys. Um, so just uh, dip ever so I'm Loading a number four round with black. This is a, actually, this is a number three round. Okay. Number four is a little bit thick. Number three would work really well. All right, so right here, I'm going to create the wolf. All right, so right around here, we're gonna start with the nose. I always like to start with the little pointy nose right around here and then come down kind of like an angle. And then right here, you're gonna kind of come out to make like the forehead. And then the ear, a little ear like that. All right, so then right here, you're gonna make like a little open mouth coming down like that and the neck. 
and you know always start small and then widen as you as you go all right so i'm going to come down a little bit right here make it a little higher i think yeah something like that all right and i'm pressing my brush down now i'm going to kind of find the legs here somewhere and just bring down some legs back here he's going to be a little fluffy guy okay so something like that all right so it looks like my black needs another load yeah so right here i'm going to create the little ledge where he's step he's stepping okay I'm gonna go over it a little more. The paint was pretty wet, that white. So that's why he's uh, not that dark. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, I mean, you know, in, in the real world, you would. In the real world, you know, this is a um, laminate. So it's not, it doesn't have like, any texture at all, all right? Skin's a little easier that way. Yeah. Okay, so you can see, now I like to put a little tail on it like that too. Okay. Okay, so from here, I'm going to, I have to work around my phone there. I'm going to go ahead and just start pulling trees up, making some trees. And this is super, you know, like simple. You're just kind of making some zigzags, just, you know, bring it down a little bit just to make like that night, you know, nighttime trees, maybe a few little spots like that. Just, it doesn't have to be anything um, to, and I'm gonna bring it out a little bit here too. It's got a little bit of grass and stuff coming out. Just flicking up to create grass. Uh -huh. And it's all like a silhouette. All okay. right. So I'm gonna make some more long trunks down here. And then just some pretty cool looking little zigzags to create the trees. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the gist of it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it some downward, like downward strokes here as well here. And how long would this take, you know, in, uh, in the real world? So there it is. I mean, you can literally have just that be the design. Right. Um, of course, you would add the glitter, which course, well, duh, <laughs> duh. Um, what I'm doing here is this is called heaven. This is my silver hologram mix. And since this is my gleam, which is the cream base will not slide well here. It actually, you know, wouldn't work here. So um, what I would use is glitz glue, which you guys carry there. Mm hmm. And this is how um, I adhere the glitter, the, the loose glitter to the design. I'm not going to bother doing that right now because all I, I'm just going to do is show you, right? I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And look how that beautiful night sky looks with the stars in there. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. With the glitter, you basically incorporate it into the design. All right. All right. So, um, like I said, if it was a boy, I wouldn't even bother with the eyes. I would just do that top part. But mm -hmm. since it's a girl, I'm just going to go ahead and um, add a few little, maybe um, just go like that and bring those in. Something like that. Some zigzags. So just give it that same feel as like those trees up there. So you can start with that and then just start connecting them towards that focal point to create this really neat looking effect. All right, and let me go ahead and put a little eyeliner while I'm there. All right. And good. And I would have done the glitter um, at the very end and I would have put it there and also as well right here because I like to highlight the upper cheekbones. Uh, okay. Yeah something there so there you have it that is quick design number one so you can scale that like i said you can totally just do that mm -hmm. sometimes that's all you can do on the cheek you know 
But even though I did that, that really will not take long at all on the job. You can probably do that in like maybe a minute or maybe a minute and 30 seconds. Right. Well, one of the um, I'm sorry for everybody on Facebook Live. We had some somebody spamming or a couple guys spamming us. And and so mm -hmm. I, I had to stop it and start another one. And uh, with apologies and some upcoming webinars that we've got going on. Um, so uh, it's all Halloween for a while because, well, Halloween's coming up. So Patty DeLeon is going to do on the job Halloween designs and Zuri, who's watching gratefully, is going to do monster designs. And Pam Kinnenberg is going to do Halloween to, uh, boy design. So this is on uh, every Monday for the next four Mondays. So, and don't forget the craze 30% off sale uh, at facepaint.com, which is, that's a craze face paint right there. All right. All righty. What's the next design? So the next design is going to be a super fast bat I'm going to utilize this bat stencil. This is actually a tap stencil. Okay. Uh, and and that's one of yours? No, this is a tap stencil. Okay. Okay. So this here is thrill. This is like an amazing split cake. I love it. It is a craze split cake thrill. So it's got a real nice combination here for especially Halloween theme colors, green and purple. So what I decided to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and just like I said, if it's a boy, don't even worry about doing the inner eye area here. But I tend to do that for the girls. So you're going to start with that stroke and then you're going to flip it over and then just widen it. Okay, so you see, and I'm just connecting that dark purple there. Then I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do a bigger swoop down, okay? And just finish it off. So now this is a neon color. So the colors um, go on a little lighter, mm -hmm. a little, not lighter, but like a, a little less opaque, I should say a little more transparent, but they still pop a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to start with that. Hello, um, my Dutch fans. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and while that's drying up a bit, I'm going to take that same paintbrush that I was using before. What it's brush a, is that? It's a number three round blazing. Okay. okay. Blazing brushes. Yes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the eye coming out, coming out from the eyeliner. And just right here, I'm going to start creating a little tree action. And it's just going to come up like that. Similar to the last design, you're just, except you're just making one bigger, thicker tree. And it's really just zigzag. It's not, um, anything precise really or just you know being just making those little zigzag branches to create that silhouette tree okay and then I'm just going to put a few little leaves and actually these are going to end up looking like far away bats as well making sure that's nice and dry now we're going to get our stencil so what do your kids want to be? Oh gosh, they're not even talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> my, kids, my son loves Minecraft. Um, still, it's like that, like the never ending craze, right? The it never is. My, my kids played it a long time. My boys did. Years and it's still popular. How weird, huh? You know, it, it, it just, you just keep building. Okay. Well, with this, you have to be careful, obviously, when you're doing a um, a stencil to make sure it's not too... Which black is that? This one is... Oh, I think this is a fusion black. This is my okay. leftover remnants before I... <laughs> um, crazy. <laughs> okay. Fusion's right. good. So I think I'm going to... Yeah, I like this angle. Uh -huh. Coming out like that. So I'm going to put it here. 
And let's test it first. Yeah, I like that. See, I always do a little test on my hand to make sure it's not too wet and runny. And, and also to make sure that there's enough paint that it's gonna actually get off and, and cover the, the design with the stencil. Okay, so just gonna stamp that on. All right, very nice. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, gosh. I'm gonna just decorate it a little teeny bit with some webs. Probably just gonna do like right here. I like to do these three. You make Olga some... says that you can't do that because of COVID or use a sponge or something. I think that's the, the concern that she has. The sponge, um, you can use one sponge per child and then discard, you know, not just don't throw it away, but you not know, use it again. Yeah. That's You've been using. You basically just take your sponge, you put the paint on, and then you put it in your um, discard pile. Oh, not not, she says not on your hand, I guess. Oh, correct. You're right. I usually do test it on my hand. That's just habit, right? But yep. yeah, you're absolutely right. We shouldn't do that. You just have to take a chance now. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just put another little web over here as well. Okay. I'm just gonna cover this a little bit more. Very nice. All right, so of course the last step is what? <laughs> Glitter. 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 That's right, so I have my stack. So oh, Paula says one sponge per color per child. Yes, that's right. And also, um, if you're using a paintbrush, you're going to disinfect with alcohol in between each child. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my green stack. Um, as you guys can see, I like to organize my glitters in per whatever the predominant color is. So that's the best way to quickly find the color you're looking for. So since I'm in my green uh, range here, I like I'm going to use this one. This is called Wild Bloom. You guys, this is a, an awesome mix. So I'm just going to put it right here. Obviously, like I said, I'm using the... And this is the Chunky, right? Yeah, this is Wild Bloom Chunky Vivid Glitter. You can get this in the cream, okay? And for those fast jobs, that's what I would definitely use. I would just apply oh, okay. it. Okay, you can apply it with an applicator so you don't have to touch the cream with your finger or the child with your finger. You just, you just, um, let me actually demonstrate for you guys so you can see it. We uh, carry both at facepaint.com. So I was just going to wild bloom. Okay, so wild bloom. Here's some gleam. Okay, so here's the paint. Uh -huh. I'm just going to, you know, use an applicator. Use an applicator. You see how it just goes on, it spreads. However, it will not activate the paint underneath it. So it's not like the gels. The gels will reactivate the paint and then you're going to get a smudge. This cream is amazing for on the job design. So you can just a one step application, put the glitter on. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that on these boards though. So for the sake of the boards, I'm just going to show you where I would apply the glitter, okay? And I like to apply the glitter wherever I would see a focal point, okay? And probably there where there's a lot of black so it can pop. And that's it. That would be the second fast design. And that's you great. Don't, you don't have to highlight because the glitter itself creates the highlight for you sometimes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So that's it for the second one. Claudia says that's super beautiful and she loves that cream. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna wipe this off my hands here. Um, the next design, you're not gonna be able to avoid a, uh, a sugar skull request, right? So there's a fast version you can do. Uh, a lot of people would um, maybe, um, opt to not use any white at all. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you basically exclude the white so you can just do it on the face and you know create the sugar skull 
design um, basically the, the, the other elements without it. Or you can use a star blends white. Okay, I've had this for a long time, as you can see, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's star blends. Star blends is really good. It's fast. Um, you can just we're going to go ahead and pretend that it's showing up. And okay. it's the it's the regular white, not the moonlight white, right? No, it's just a regular white. Okay. Um, we're gonna pretend it's showing up, but it barely shows up on these boards here, okay? Because, like I said, this is laminated. But um, that's how I would do it. And, and you know, you would just blend it. You don't have to worry about it being like a real thick white um, covering. Uh, it's okay if it's a little uh, shimmery um, or transparent. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. somebody asked um, that their cream had dried out and um, what should they do? Um, was it a gleam or yeah. was it uh -huh. one? Um, can I, can you just talk, I mean, I've never had a gleam dry out, so I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so just contact you directly, that's fine. Uh, happened to it. Um, because that green, it's it's almost like a lip balm base, like lip balm. You can have it sitting in your in your car for a long time, and it never dries out. I mean, yeah, I've had these gleams for a long time. That's the first time anyone has said that that it had ever dr dried out. So okay. I would love for you to contact me directly and and let me know what the situation is. Sure. Okay. All righty. So. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use, I cut my sponges sometimes. Can you guys see that? So this is uh, what used to be a, around a half moon. I cut it. Yep. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this rainbow. This is such a pretty one. It is called Glow. Glow. Okay. And I really like that one. So I'm spritzing both lightly. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pick it up like this. Okay. And I'm going to start in the inner corner of the eye like this. I'm gonna have to clean it afterwards because she can't close her eyes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna raise it up a little bit to create that, um, you know, round, uh, make it look like a sugar skull. Open, open it up and just a tiny bit on the bottom, not too much. So something like that. Okay. And you can just connect it right here, like just. Mm. All right. So that's the first step. And then you would just put this in your little dirty net because you're not going to use that again. No. Okay. So this is my fast version. I mean, and um, usually Halloween, you know what I found guys is most kids, most kids events, like they basically are dressed up in costumes and you're basically just going to match their costume with, um, with the design that you're painting. Um, and, and, and you know what, I, to be honest, I would say like 75% of the time it's, it's the same stuff you always do, but there is that 25% that is a little different. That is more Halloween theme. Um, I was looking at pictures from last year uh, for my last year's Halloween theme. Uh, mm -hmm. I, for, let me go ahead and undo this before I keep talking here. So I'm gonna go ahead. No and... What? No worries. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna bring that down right there and um, create the similar effect up here. This is a nice stroke where you're just kind of pressing, pulling to a point and then pulling it back. All right, and, and this is gonna create that inner indent. That's just a little decoration for the top. And then while I'm at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the lips here. And of course, due to COVID, you wouldn't use the paintbrush. Um, I've been using lip applicators. I'm pretty sure you have something like this. I've been using these. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm available. 
But um, this is what I normally do in a fast event. I just, the same brush that I'm using, I just go ahead and, and get it on the lips. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's not forget the nose because we need to have that little skull nose there. All right. And so then from there, all you need is your black. You're gonna do some black line work. So literally it's like three steps. Well, other than the um, star blends. And then of course you need to put glitter on it. So as I was saying, I remember just last year, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little hook here. Um, I had a few appointments and they were mostly sugar skulls. That's what the people wanted. And those, I mean, weren't really that long either. I think the longest, you can probably do, take like an entire hour to do a, a sugar skull, but these are super fast. Yeah. The reason why it took me an hour was because she wanted like rhinestones around, you know, I had to put little rhinestones around there and all that, but you know what, we don't need to do that. So right here, I'm going to- And you're not laying down a base. Um, uh, you don't have to know. If you're in a, a fast event, you can just stick to this. Mm -hmm. okay. And then just add some pretty little teardrop action here. Okay, maybe right here, I would just kind of something like that. Okay, and then right here, I'm just going to bring out her lip here. You would just put probably like a couple little lines like that to create the little uh, effect there. Okay, something like that. Mm -hmm. And that's it, except we got to add the glitter. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what glitter looks awesome with this color? It's, Where'd you get that board? I can't find it. We don't have it. Silly Farm doesn't have it. You guys have this. Um, if you guys have the blocks, then you have this. This is part of my block. Let me show you. And I know okay. you can see this, the ultimate face painting. Block. Oh, the ultimate face painting block. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that has all those angles. And um, it's so nice because you get... Um, all the different views and different, you know, skin tones and angles, straightforward. I got the adult one, which I like. Okay, let me get, uh, I gave you the guys the wrong one. Hang on. Okay, so I just undid her. <laughs> all right, so as I, I was saying, this is um, a really nice glitter to use for the, um, that goes really nicely with that cake. So this one's called Anti-Gravity. Just going to put it right under here a little bit, maybe right here. It's called anti gravity again. Um, wow, you see how it basically highlights it for you. Okay, this is my glitter. So oh, your, your video just went off. My phone just went off. Yeah, your camera went off. I uh, don't know why. Problem. My camera. Is it hot? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Can you turn on the um the, the other video? Yeah, the other video. Uh, let me try it. Hold it down. My camera is very my phone is very hot. Oh. Um I you'll have to come in on that link, I'm sorry to say. Because I stopped the video from from, from before. Okay. Start. I'll turn on my video. You guys can just look at me. Hi. There we go. Okay. There, I... <laughs> Your camera is hot. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, ask to start video. Maybe that'll work. There you go. Um, there we go. That's at least something. There we go. Uh, let me stop my video. And there we go. What it is? I think my phone is just hot and it just turned off. It's turning back on now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. 
it, my phone didn't die. It just, it feels super hot. And it that's just, weird. Yeah, let's see. I've never seen that happen. Hold on. Can you guys see if I did this? Uh, better than nothing. Better than nothing. Um, I need like another phone, honey. You want to help me? Because this is hard to see. Let me see if I can like put it up here. <laughs> is it upside down? Yes. <laughs> of oh course God. it is. Well, anyway, I'm just going to wrap this up. It, the last step is adding glitter. So I'll just pull it up so you guys can see it. Turn it over. There you go. That is the finished uh, sugar skull design. Fast sugar skull, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see if we can get this back on. Jeez. Okay. All right, we're back on. Let me let me just connect with you here. Give me one sec. It is doing weird things all the way around. Okay, I'm connecting. Okay, good. All right, is that working? Um, doo -doo. It's upside down. I'm looking at the ceiling. Okay. That's better, yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. Is it upside down or, or is that just me seeing it that way? Okay. Uh, no, that's right side up. Okay. All right, back in business. Sorry about that. Hopefully it won't happen again. Okay, so the next design. Um, oh, I'm gonna use this, uh, this board. So the other day, actually last week, uh, in my, I have a Facebook group called um, Glittery Face and Body Creations. And we do a weekly paint challenge. If you guys haven't ever um, checked it out, come on over and check it out. It's called the Paint and Sparkle Challenge. So um, one of the things we did last week was an owl. And um, we got some really cool owls um, submitted for that. So I just want to share with you guys the owl that I did. All right. So I'm going to start with gold. And for that, I'm going to use this Maron metallic gold powder. This is literally the best gold you can um, you can have. You can use. So what I like to do is I like to actually dump a little tiny dusting of gold into like a little um, pot like that, or actually right into my metallic craze gold. I'll just dump a little you know bit of of this into it because this, um, it really, it makes it look like liquid gold. It's so cool. So I Beautiful. don't bother with, um, I won't bother with putting the Maron mixing liquid in it, to be honest. I just spritz my sponge with some water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't ever spritz this powder because you know what's gonna happen. Powder dust is going to get everywhere. So you always need to spray the sponge and then you can go ahead and pick up that really nice gold, okay? It's, it's dry, so it's powder. So um, at the beginning of a, a gig, if I know I'm gonna be using it a lot, I'm going to go ahead and um, just put that right into my metallic gold paint. And that way I don't have to worry about doing it later on. Okay, I'm just gonna let this guy clean again here. All right, so, I'm going to start by covering the eye area and right in the middle, right here. Just going like that in the middle. And this is quick. And you see how that gold is super opaque. I mean, like I can literally cover up his whole eye. And a lot of people, you know, complain about gold not being very strong, but this is the trick right here. Yeah, that's a beautiful gold. That's the Maron? This is Maron, um, what's it called? Maron metallic powder. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to just fill that in. All right. And since his eyes are covered, I need to find them. <laughs> you wouldn't do this. Your... <laughs> <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't blind your customers? No? No, no I, would, I would think that'd be bad. I agree with you. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take a nice um a nice flat brush three quarter flat brush and this is um a diamond effects rainbow cake um i forget what it's called uh i have some magnet <laughs> it's okay so uh it starts with a p i think like oh not purple <laughs> okay all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and create this owl. So we're going to make these really long, wispy lines. So the first one is there. I'm going to go ahead and make the next one so I can be as symmetrical as I can. And then I'm going to just kind of zigzag in like that and come back in. And let's make this a little fluffier. Huh. I love those owls. They're like, I don't know, they're such neat creatures. And uh, I didn't realize how much I enjoyed painting them. Posy DFX. Oh, Posy. See, I told you it started with a P. Okay, let me find it. Okay, so here's the forehead area. You're basically zigzagging. So right here, so the owls have this really big, you wanna give the um, impression of a really big eye. So you're just gonna take that dark edge of your paintbrush and just kind of trace along there, trace down along here, okay? And then when you get to right about here, you're gonna do the zigzag one more time. You're just gonna start doing that and just kind of connecting it like right to there, all right? Same thing over here, zigzag, zigzag. And then you're gonna connect all right i'm gonna go ahead and do a little pointy thing here make it look like a fluffy guy okay so that is the main um base for it i'm gonna go ahead and blend that um gold right there okay so after you've got that mm -hmm. you're basically gonna grab your black and start your line work And with first thing I like to do is just make sure I know where I'm putting that beak in the middle. So the beak is try to keep the beak really small because I noticed if you go too big on the beak and eh, it doesn't look as nice. All right, so try to, try to keep the beak nice and small. So take your number three round brush and just make like a nice, just press it and then pull. And that's it, literally that's it. Just you might want to make it a, a little tiny bit wider and leave it like that, okay? Just a real small little beak, makes it look nice. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and trace and just go around, accentuate that dark edge, both sides, going in right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if anybody's had any um, any small birthday gigs or anything like that. Yeah, and, how's COVID going for you guys? Let me know. Let us know. Yeah. I know. Um, I think people are starting to kind of really be starving for events now. It has been a while. Yeah, we've been, the, the phone calls are starting to come in, so be encouraged. I think it's 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 going to be, you know, it's not going to be a dead October, that's for sure. All right, so at this point, I think that's it. Uh, am I missing anything? Oh, yeah, right here. Just make this little zigzag here. Okay, and you see that, that design? I'm going to go ahead and just kind of bring that black a little bit more defined down the middle here too for the owl to look more owly. Okay, 
And then the last step, which is, I mean, optional, if you're, if you have a line, of course, you're done. Um, if you, if you're, you know, you're inclined to do this, this actually makes it look more like a bird. And what, what you do is you just load up a white on a, a flat, one half flat brush. And basically, you're just going to do this motion here. You're just going to follow the, you know, the strokes where they're going and the direction that they're going and mm -hmm. just um, make it look like feathers, you know, mm -hmm. like that, just very lightly. And this gives it a nice little highlight as well. But it really does make it look more like a bird when you do that. If anyone go down here. Sandra says, she's, uh, <laughs> Teresa and Sandra says COVID sucks and I haven't painted since March 3rd. And mm -hmm. Olga says, I've, she's done it in a farmer's market and a market event. So, oh, cool. but you're in Ireland, right, Olga? I think that's right. Um, so things are a little better over in Europe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. I added a little highlight to the nose, to um, to the beak. That makes it look really nice. And then the final step. Oh, Illinois. So. Um, this is a glitter called Revelation. This glitter is gorgeous. Let me just see if you can get a close up of that. Wait, right here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm That's pretty, nice. I'm low at the bottom of the barrel, but it is a really nice mix that doesn't get a lot of uh you know it doesn't get a lot of limelight for some reason but mm -hmm. it's beautiful this mix and of course i'm gonna put some in the upper cheekbone area mm -hmm. that's just what i think looks nice all right so there you have it that's the owl nice owl right. and what what glitter was that it's called revelation okay it's called revelation okay so okay. It's a cute little owl and let's see okay so um another really fun design to do around halloween time of course every little girl still wants a butterfly right so yes um, they've done studies <laughs> so what, um, what i always like to do is i'll just make a variation of a butterfly to go with halloween theme I'm going to go ahead and rinse one of my brushes here. Finally reach my max. <laughs> Dirtying all my flat brushes. Okay, so here we go. So this one, this is a, a cake that came out of this, uh, which is your, I don't know what you call this palette. Uh, this splash 12 color split cake palette. Yes. Uh huh. So this has every essential, basically, thing that you would need. And I like this because I'm really into any um, split cake that goes from black, you know, from a very dark color to a very light color. I like contrast. Okay. So I'm loading that up nicely here. I need a little more because it's kind of dry. So get a good load on this because you're going to make a butterfly. Now you can make this a half butterfly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with this again. All right. And then I'm actually going to continue that and make like three on either side. So then I'm just going to connect with a U shape like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it on the other side. All right. I'm going to come in here and make just a nice with my black and I just gave her eyeliner. See, I just I'm when you're in a hurry, you just try to be as efficient as you can. And I just gave her eyeliner with the black edge there. All right, I'm going to fill that in. And then right here, you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to just make this one be the longest one. And then like that. Make this one the longest one. And then two smaller ones. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go. Oh, uh, Sandra asked, what, what, where do you find the inspiration to name your glitter? 
to name my glitters? Yeah. Well, how do you how do you come up with your names like mm -hmm. um, Revelation? Revelation. That's a good question. I I have a little uh, place where I any time I think of a good name, I I put it in my list, and then when I make a glitter, I I just look at my list and I go, hmm, this one looks just like Revelation. I think I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> to be honest, that's how it you just happens. make it up as you go. Yeah, but you know, anytime I think of a really interesting word name that pops out, I I. I just write it in my list. I already have some really cool additional names to come <laughs> for future mixes. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a, one of my favorite brushes is a 5-8 long angle brush, mm -hmm. by blazing brush. And I'm gonna take the, this one from the same palette and I'm loading it. So I'm loading the long uh, tip with the black part and the dark part and the short end of the brush on the right. All right, so once I got a nice load, I'm basically gonna do the same thing, just following that line inside. Okay. Okay. And just a little bit here. I think while I was talking, I forgot to um, put my little middle section here. So I was just gonna do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it over and just put a, like a little point down here at the bottom. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Right here, I'm gonna to try to connect this a little bit and just do that. Right here, I'm gonna just add a couple of little antennas. All right, and now it's time to trace it. Oh, by the way, don't forget the lips as well. If you, you know, once you got this brush, you can always do that and do the lips. This is just my normal routine. I know with COVID things are different, but yeah, they are. <laughs> All right. So back to my paintbrush. Same one. I'm using this this one. I guess because I literally um, I just bought it. So uh, once you get that brand new brush and it's at that pointy tip, you know, it's like it becomes the only one I use. <laughs> <laughs> for a little while until it wears off and you know I go back to all my other brushes okay so I'm just going to trace it and you're just going to make that um, nice thick outer edge and then try to keep your lines thin as you're coming in and just go ahead and make um, those little U's all the way down so you're making like a little web Right here, I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more little webbies. Why not? Okay. I like to make it the thickest on the very outer edge and then everything else thin. You can even make extra ones, like you don't have to just make those two. All right. How much time do we have, Blake? Hours. <laughs> That's a beautiful, beautiful design. Um, uh, it's um, we have seven minutes. Okay, cool. So right here, I'm. That's gonna... a very pretty butterfly. Thanks. <clears throat> All right. I'm just. Enjoying myself, you know, just decorating this butterfly. A little more water here. And like I said, if you're at a event, you can do this as a half, half butterfly. So since my half faces are all used up, I'm using this one. 
So Seems right fair. here. Hmm? Seems fair. I'm going to go ahead and do the same similar pattern here as well, actually, and just give it that little webby look. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now the last step. Oh my gosh, this glitter is so awesome. This one, um, it's called Carnival. Mm -hmm. I designed this for the faith paint shop in, in Europe over there. Mm -hmm. And um, apparently they do an event every year, a carnival event, and these are the colors. So I created this for them, but it is an awesome mix. It's got like green, yellow, and red. And let me show you. I don't know if you can see these red stars, but let me, let me just pour a little bit right here and see if you can see those little red stars in there. And those look awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and just put those on the ed outside edges of the butterflies. And uh, like I said, in an event, I would use Gleam uh, to just get it on as a simple one-step application and very- do you, mean the, do you mean the cream? Yeah, the, it's called Gleam. Okay. Um, it's the glitter cream. And it's a one-step application, like I said, and it's very easy to control where you're putting. Okay, so that's my web butterfly design very pretty okay well how much time do we have time to do one last one if you can do it in five minutes we're in okay well let's go for it <clears throat> this is going to uh, be a record for us how many designs have we done this will be number i think six wow what's this the is, this well i think um uh darcy mchenry did like like nine, but she was um, doing really fast designs. I mean, like two minute designs or less. I mean, so it was, it was great. Mm -hmm. okay. well, but everybody this... thought that was gorgeous. Thank you. All right, so right here, I've got my uh, craze palette, just the basic fundamentals 12 color palette. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna use that to grab, what I'm gonna do on the job when I do this design is since we're just using one sponge per customer now, <clears throat> you don't have to worry about using one color per sponge, right? So I'm going to do a two-toned uh, skull. This will be for like a boy. Um, so somebody asked, um, how can I watch it again? Uh, we always post our, 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 uh, all these sessions are on our Facebook page. So if you go to facepaint.com's uh, Facebook page, you can find it. Okay, sorry, sorry to the interruption. Oh, you're fine. <clears throat> I'm just loading my my sponge. One end I'm gonna load green and one end I'm gonna load yellow. Okay, so because you're just using one sponge per customer, you don't have to worry about putting two different colors on a sponge, right? So so here we go. Here's a fast skull for the boys, okay? So I'm just going to just basically okay. figure out where you're wanting it, okay? It's gonna be right over the lip on the top only. And then you're gonna cover a little bit of the nose there, the forehead up to here. It's gonna be like a half side. And sometimes you can even just skip that part and just do the eye, that's it. Just do like the real, you know, just one eye. Okay, mm -hmm. so since I already have the yellow on, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight that cheekbone a little bit. Highlight this bone right here, whatever you call that, frontal mm -hmm. lobe, I have no idea. And a little bit of highlight on this part, and then I'm gonna take the back of that sponge where it's dry and just blend it. And um, there you have a very fast blend, you know, background. I don't really like to do white skulls so much anymore. They're, I think it's more interesting to do colorful skulls. Yeah. I, Ronnie Mena obviously um, probably was the one who brought that, you know, who made that popular, I think. So I'm um, typically on the job, I would take a star blend black, right? Uh -huh. And just cover this child's eye. Obviously, boys prefer uh, powder over their eyes, I think. You know, they do better with powder. Um, <clears throat> this isn't working very well on this board but I'll get back to it and cover it with the black. So at this point, you it's an optional thing. You can actually just paint the black um, lines 
and start the line work. Or you can just take this brush. I'll give you this nice tip. Um, it's the flora brush. Can you see that? It's the flora. Uh -huh. It's literally the shape of a skull's teeth. You see? Ah. It's like already that shape. So I just use that brush. I, I'm loading it with the yellow. I'm just going to give them yellow teeth real fast. So there it is. And you're literally just going to, you're going to pull it a little bit and then lay it. Pull and then press, pull, press. You see how it's like automatically creating those teeth? Yeah. Like a really weird looking tooth there. And this is the flora brush from Marcel? Yeah. It's the flora. Uh-huh. Flora, okay. Yeah, I discovered that last year. I was like, oh my gosh, the flora brush is literally perfect for these um, skull teeth. On star blend uh, applicators, you do um, uh, one per kid per color kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. For the applicators, yeah, you should definitely have a good pack of applicators. So you can just, just put it in your little mesh bag when you finish with that one. And you know, you can reuse those, you can wash them, but make sure you definitely get a good supply of those. All right, so now you're just going to outline this. So I like to start with the little frowny part there, bring that back. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in so you can um, make it you know, more opaque there. Right here, I like to kind of bring it out and around a little bit right here. Make that, and I'll just come in right there. All right, it's a Some little bit of uh, almost like a, a a a stylized version because I'm doing these like you know swooping lines. I'm doing it really fast. I think right here I'm gonna thicken that up to give it the feel. How are you maintaining hygiene with star blends? The blenders seem more fragile than sponges. They don't, are they more fragile? These blenders? Yeah. No, I mean, they've got a nice sponge here on the tip, but this is plastic. I mean, there's no fragility to this, I don't believe. Okay. Um, and, you know, you can just wash them when you're done. They're, I mean, I've had those last me a good while. Okay. Debbie's so going to be uh, doing a pumpkin farm. She'll be painting this weekend for Halloween at a pumpkin farm. Interesting. Ooh, awesome. Well, I hope that some of this helps you out. So yeah. On the bottom, I'm just making kind of like a straight to kind of, you know, finish off this design a little bit and make it like a little stretch, a straight edge. And right here, you want to go ahead and bring that in to create that little dome effect. Mm -hmm. um, if you still have that um, star blends handy, I like to make that little shadow there and a little bit of shading is always nice, but if you don't have time, you don't have to worry about that. You can do a little shading to kind of give it a little bit of a shaded feel there. And then the last step, okay, I'm, I'm gonna kind of double up. I like to kind of give it a little double mm -hmm. line sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna just give it a few little cracks in that skull. Can you guys see okay? Yeah. I feel like my hand keeps getting in the way. No, actually it doesn't. You're good. Okay, great. Well, and that's basically what I would do for a really fast boy skull. But you'd add um, glitter, wouldn't you? Of course. That's what I'm reaching for. <laughs> what do you think? Of course. Even boys like glitter, guys. Don't leave those boys out. Um, I would just put a little bit of fine glitter, you know, a little bit of that green fine glitter. It just makes it that much better okay fabulous and not too much but just enough to give it that highlight probably a little bit up here too all right let me raise it up so you guys can see it up close well thank you very much that's fantastic and thank you guys for joining us so just a reminder of uh the webinars we have coming up um we have this this month is all halloween all the time uh hopefully we'll have it so patty de leon is going to be on next monday and she's going to do on, on september 28th and she will do on the job halloween designs zuri johnson is going to do monster designs on october 6th 
Pam Kinnenberg, Halloween Boy Designs, October 12th, and Linnea Overby Novak is going to do on the job Halloween designs. And then Mandy Gibson in October 26th will do Halloween 101. So it's all Halloween. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Jacqueline. That was fantastic. Uh, as always, you are the queen of glitter and face painting. So thank you very much for doing this. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for having me here, Blake. Appreciate okay, it. Okay, great. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye-bye.